Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today we are going to talk about immunology and here's a question, place the following in chronological order as fluid flows. Take a look at this picture and what we see, we see arterial here shown in uh, bright red color and venule which is shown here in blue color. Actually uh, this blood that comes from the arterial uh, is bright red and that come from venial is dark red. But sometimes in the pictures we can see venial blood as blue because if you will take a look at your veins that you can see uh, through your skin you would perceive them, uh, perceive them as uh, blue. So that's explanation when uh, why uh, sometimes we see arterial blood and venial blood in uh, colors as red and blue. And here in a green color shown is lymphatic system and if you will take a close look you would see that uh, uh, blood circulatory system capillary system is not connected to the uh, lymphatic system. So we would see here that ends of the lymphatic system where you see arrows here. And basically how fluid flows uh, from arterial due to uh, hydrostatic pressure, um, uh, basically blood plasma which is major component of the blood enters this uh, space between and flows between the cells and supply cells with sugars, uh, also carries hormones, uh, proteins, uh, oxygen and so on and also um, take away uh, waste products of the cells. And 90% of the lymph, now when uh, this lymph would, uh, oh sorry, uh, blood plasma, when it uh, enters this um, uh, space between uh, cells, uh, we call this um, interstitial fluid. Then this interstitial fluid would return back to the uh, blood system uh, through uh, oncotic uh, pressure. And 10% would go into the lymph system. And uh, in the lymph system, those lymph system doesn't have such uh, organs that uh, circulate lymph. Again, uh, this um, interstitial fluid when enters uh, lymphatic system would be called lymph. Uh, and those, uh, for example, our uh, blood circulatory system has heart that uh, circulate blood within the system. Uh, lymphatic system is a passive system and doesn't have any organs that uh, push uh, uh, this lymph within it and basically we can refer it as a drainage system and uh, what prevents lymph to flow in different directions and what gives it direction and direction would be in the direction of lymphatic uh, node and uh, basically inside everywhere here there are going to be valves that prevent uh, backward uh, uh, flow of this uh, liquid uh, lymph. So uh, again if uh, we would say uh, in short words the liquid portion of the blood which is referred as plasma which becomes interstitial fluid once it exits the blood vessel and passes the tissues. Uh, interstitial fluid eventually flows into the lymphatic vessels where it is then referred as lymph. All lymph is eventually returned to the blood circulation at the subclavian veins. So this is going to be uh, a flow of this liquid and change of the names of this liquid. So first blood plasma, then interstitial fluid and then lymph. 
And uh, as you see, this is answer A. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. See you in the next video. Goodbye.